Welcome to Homemade Movies. We're doing Star Wars Episode 7, and here's how we made it. You ready, BB-8? Let's do it. Oh, he's so cute. In the very first shot of the trailer with the crashed Imperial Starfighter in the background. It's super big. I have an X-Wing fighter toy that I'm going to be using just to get the scale for it and I'm just going to draw the uh, Starfighter two-dimensional. Just going to draw this all out freehand. the melted, beat-up Darth Vader helmet. The base is a Halloween decoration. It's a plastic skull. I'm using some gaff tape to kind of make the shapes and then filling it in with Silly Putty. Got some straws in there and some popsicle sticks. R2-D2 for this shot doesn't have to be as big as R2-D2 is, so we're gonna make him a little bit smaller out of a Home Depot bucket. And we've got a mixing bowl for his head. <laughs> There's a few things going on with this R2-D2. One is we have to puppeteer the head, which moves around. So I'm gonna be putting a handle on his head. And then I gotta cut a hole in the back of this Home Depot bucket so that we can fit our hand in and operate that. But then the lights change on his head and it rotates through different colors. So we're gonna make a color wheel that will spin. And once we shine a light through it, then you'll see the different colors shining through the uh, head. So we've got some paper material. It's kind of like paper bag stuff, but we got a big roll of it and spray painted it red. To shut. Liz is gonna play Luke Skywalker, or Liz Skywalker, as we've been calling her. This is a glove with a water bottle piece on it and some jump rope attached to it. And then this is just gaff tape and some aluminum foil tape. Mark's back here, operating R2. He's using both of his hands. One is gonna rotate R2's head, and then the other one rotates the color wheel so that the light inside of the display changes. Two, three, four, five. Oh my god! <laughs> that's, wow, that's what is crazy. Dude. That's a wrap on R2. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this shot where they're handing over the lightsaber. It's really helpful to have all these little LED lights that we just sort of strategically place in the right spots. And we put some fun Easter eggs in here like the T-800, Ant-Man, Batman Mecha Helmet, and then the proton pack that I made for our homemade Ghostbusters scene. So Bianca is making our lightsaber hilt out of a flashlight. Silver makes everything amazing. We noticed at the very beginning of the shot, you can see the face of whoever's handing off the lightsaber, and it kind of looks like a red-faced alien or something, and we thought it looked a lot like Deadpool. The one X-Wing fighter we see in this is Poe, so he does kind of have the classic X-Wing fighter flight suit on with the orange jacket, which we're making out of a red jacket, spray painting that orange. And then Liz is here making the box on his chest, and Bianca's gonna modify this spike helmet with some cardboard and duct tape headphones. So here we have the cockpit of the X-Wing that we made out of uh, 2D pieces of cardboard. And now Liz is putting in all the details with tape and marker. Andrew's gonna be playing Poe, so we've got him in the uh, X-Wing flight suit. Liz is operating in the background. Bianca is gonna hold this light and move it so that we can get some light play on Andrew. Action. We were trying to find the right ball to use for BB-8's body. It's tricky because his head stays in place, but his body rolls. So we thought about maybe paper mache a beach ball, and then popping the beach ball inside, so now we have a paper mache circle, which is a little bit stronger, and then we can add stuff to it as we need it. 
So for this wide shot, because we only see BB-8 in the background and his body's rolling, we don't need to worry about the details. It's just the orange circles on his body. So we're just gonna quickly spray paint those on for this shot. We're rigging up this like hinge mechanism with some wire coat hangers and these caps drilled with holes so that they operate as a hinge. We're gonna attach these to the side of BB-8's body and then we're gonna have a coat hanger acting as kind of an axle, like so. But his head needs to stay up here and in place. So I'm gonna cut a hole in the back of uh, BB-8's head and fit him with some PVC pipe. Yeah, there we go. A couple shots of Ray, and she's in this one, so our friend Whitney is coming over to run around with BB-8. We got BB-8 attached to this rope here, which Sam is gonna operate. Back here, Bianca and Liz are operating all of these pieces of explosions. BB-8's BB deflating. It's so hot outside right now. Three, two, one, action! Oh, man. Mark's gonna play Kylo Ren. Yeah, yeah. Here we have our Kylo Ren helmet and our Kylo Ren lightsaber, which we made for our how-to episode, which came out two weeks ago, so make sure to check it out for an in-depth look at how we made it. Action turn. This is the big shot with all of the stormtroopers, and we're gonna be using Lego stormtroopers. For this set, I'm gonna use a combination of cardboard, some Legos. I've got some toilet paper tubes for the big pillars. So here we have all of our Lego Stormtroopers on sticks because they all turn individually so we're all going to be operating a Stormtrooper. I'm working on a Stormtrooper helmet while at the same time Bianca is making the rest of the armor on me while I'm making the helmet. I'm using our bike helmet with some plastic added to the back and then I'm going to use some goggles for the eye pieces and some foam to make the shape of the rest of the helmet. So what I'm doing right now is I'm masking out all of the parts that I want to stay black and then I'm going to spray paint the whole thing white so that when I take the tape off, what's underneath stays black. For Finn, we have our friend Shalon. Actually, this is your first time playing a good guy. First time being the lead. <laughs> We're doing the shot with Finn as a stormtrooper, and so Shalon has on actually our Kylo Ren jacket because it has the same kind of arms. And cardboard chest piece. So we've got shoulder pads painted white, the bicep pieces are water bottles, and then some square water bottles for the forearm piece. Action. Liz is working on these little Imperial ships and we have a couple different ones. We have some square looking ships. I don't know the name of them. You guys probably do, but we're actually using Hot Wheels snow plows. This is a toy space shuttle, which just has the wings expanded. And then for the Imperial Star Destroyer in the background, we have a 2D piece here, which Andrew's gonna do all the details on and that's just gonna be up against a black sheet. And then the other guys are on wire. We just finished shooting the one shot with this white Stormtrooper helmet, so now it's time to paint it all silver, which I don't want to do because I think this one's awesome. Making Captain Phasma's gun. Got a Nerf gun and then some pieces from this toy machine gun we're just going to add to it. We're um, making the background window panels for the one shot with Captain Phasma. A lot of cutting of little circle shapes. We're actually putting white plastic tablecloth covers on the back sides of them so that it sort of acts as a diffusion for the light so that we can shine a light on it and it'll light up the whole wall and it'll look really awesome. Bianca's gonna play Captain Phasma in this shot because we hear tell that uh, Captain Phasma's a lady. Yeah, <laughs> one braid hanging down. <laughs> so here's all that remains of BB-8. So we can't reuse this, obviously, so we're gonna make a new one. BB-8's lens has a little red light on the side of it, and so I'm gonna cut a hole in this Tupperware and put a red gel in there with a the little LED light so we can get that to light up. Okay, so here's our Millennium Falcon setup for BB-8 shots, and of course, BB-8. 
So here we have a smaller scale Millennium Falcon and a smaller scale TIE Fighter. There he is on sticks and some lasers. Pew, pew. Bianca's gonna operate the lasers. Liz has the TIE Fighter, she's gonna pop that in. And then I'm operating the Millennium Falcon because he flies right up to the lens. So we're using two big Home Depot buckets for the jets, which Bianca glued a bunch of clothes pins and plastic wear handles to the inside. We've also painted our toolboxes, some Tupperware. We have this toy castle set, so we're gonna use some of those pieces. We're all done with Captain Phasma's helmet, so now it's time to paint it again, modify a little bit, and make it a TIE Fighter pilot. We're setting up the cockpit for the TIE Fighter, instead of making a complete cockpit like we did for the X-Wing, we're actually just making the interior out of 2D panels that are just all on stands. And there's all these red lights everywhere, so Bianca and Liz are actually putting red tape right on the panels and then coloring them in with black marker to create the circular shapes for the lights. So Andrew's also playing our TIE Fighter pilot. He's actually both pilots in this. Oh, you didn't tell me you can't see through it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Of course you can't see through it. <laughs> Very last shot of the Millennium Falcon, and it's flying through this tunnel. And then we have a tube here in the middle, which has uh, holes cut out of it. On one side is a flashlight. And then on the other side, we have some orange tablecloth cover stuffed in here on a fishing wire. We can pull out to create the illusion of an explosion. Working on Chewy, gonna be making mouthpieces out of cardboard and then some vampire teeth. For some of Chewy's costume, we're gonna be cutting up our moose, which we've used a couple times. He was Sven in Frozen. And sorry, buddy, we're gonna have to skin you. We're gonna be using the nose for Chewbacca's nose. Eh, hey, you wanna go make some homemade movies? <laughs> eh? Eh? If I held you any closer, I'd be in back of you. <laughs> so then Johnny essentially will wear this sort of mouthpiece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my best work yet. <laughs> and then I'm playing Han Solo. She's gonna be playing um, Harrison Ford. <laughs> Chewy, we're home. <laughs> so that's where lightsabers are made. <laughs> use the force. Oh, spray paint. I mean, use, use the spray paint. You are a feisty one. <laughs> jump, jump, everybody jump, 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 make it jump, jump. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We just finished our last shot <laughs> of the year. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> and that is how we made our homemade Star Wars Episode 7 trailer. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the links below to see our video as well as the side by side comparison with the original. And find homemade movies on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And for more awesome movie content, subscribe to Cinefix. All right, what do you guys want to play? Deadpool! 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 Deadpool!